The Indian Air Force will place a repeat order for 35 HTT-40 trainers by mid-2024. The Indian Army is procuring eight landing attack craft, six fast patrol boats, and 118 integrated surveillance and targeting systems for use by mechanized forces in border areas. The $670 million project cheetah for the upgrade and weaponization of Heron drones is all set to be cleared, that will get satellite navigation specialized sensors and air to ground missiles for precision strikes. Prime Minister Modi has issued instructions to the Space Department to work on missions to Venus and Mars, and include plans for a space station by 2035, and sending the first Indian to the moon by 2040. Pentagon spokesman General Pat Ryder has said that the United States aims to make India a logistics and ship repair and maintenance hub for the U.S. military and other allies in the Indo-Pacific. The Aeronautical Development Agency has released a tender seeking a senior domain expert for propulsion-related activities for AMCA UNTED BF fighter jet programs, however, one of the activities includes the technical assistance towards integration of cavalry engine on Tejas aircraft, which should be completed within two years of signing of contract. The aim is to certify the 73 kN cavalry engine core as the gas turbine research establishment is determined to enhance the engine core, and aims to achieve 90 kN thrust, and create an alternative engine for Tejas fighter jets. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has committed to an accelerated schedule for the delivery of the 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets. HAL chief has said, that the third assembly line at Nashik will enable HAL to advance the deliveries of the 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets by at least a year. He also said, that the first Mark 1A aircraft will be delivered in February 2024, and the last aircraft by 2028, which is one year ahead of the stipulated 2029 timeline outlined in the contract. The Aeronautical Development Agency and National Aerospace Laboratories have joined forces to characterize high-strength intermediate modulus carbon composites, which have shown immense promise in terms of durability and weight reduction, that will play a pivotal role in the development of India's Tejas Mark II aircraft, as lighter aircraft can achieve improved fuel efficiency, enhanced performance and increased payload capacity. The two agencies have also realized a flaperon structural assembly using cocured technology, which is a critical component for aircraft control and stability, which has now been sent for structural testing. The Indian Army is gearing up to acquire 118 integrated surveillance and targeting systems, and there is a total requirement of 600 units. It will comprise of an unmanned aerial vehicle with 20 km range for reconnaissance and surveillance purposes, an operator control unit that will be integrated into tanks or infantry combat vehicles, allowing the tank operators to control the UAV effectively. It will also have loitering munitions to strike targets at 15 km range. Pakistan Air Force is eyeing a significant upgrade for its F-16 fleet, by considering the procurement of the Gok Dog and beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile offered by Turkey. It is estimated to have a maximum range of 100 km, and a speed of over Mach 4, and these missiles are also planned to be integrated on the Bayraktar Accuracy, that has recently been delivered to Pakistan Air Force. The Ministry of Defense has signed a 310 crore rupees contract with Mazagin Dock Ship Builders for the construction of one training ship for the Indian Coast Guard, which will be equipped with advanced and modern high-tech surveillance and monitoring systems, and will be the first such dedicated training platform with integral helicopter capabilities. Today's Top 3 Comments